Hello everyone. Welcome to Happiness Talk, Inner Engineering by Sad Guru. Okay, for this uh, Happiness Talk, I will be sharing to you some quotes, uh, some lines that I've posted on my social media account on the Happiness Talk event that I found uh, quite uh, interesting, but there are a lot of lines that you can learn from it. I'll just share with you what I've shared on my social on the, on the event. And yes, okay. So that's the book, Inner Engineering. I have it also here with me, Inner Engineering by Sadhguru. Uh, I have recorded uh, reading the book uh, and I posted it on my YouTube channel. If you're interested to listen to my, <laughs> to my voice, then go check it out, Psych Eve. And also, if you want a copy of, of, of the, this book, you can buy it on Isha Life. Or you can, I still have an extra copy here. You can uh, message me and I can send it to you for free. Yeah, you don't have to pay. I'd like to share. And uh, okay, let's begin. <laughs> okay, the first one I posted is self-transformation is a dimensional shift in the way you perceive and experience life. In my case, uh, I felt the need for self-transformation. Um, you know, I'm an aspiring happiness coach. Why it is the niche that i chosen? It's because I used to be a very pessimistic person. I have to work on how to have a positive outlook in life. And yeah, it took, even it took, took me years, and I believe that this book has helped me a lot as, as I made it, as, as it has become the basis on the main basis of my happiness breakthrough program. Okay, we'll share more later. So let's begin with the quotes or the lines from Sadhguru, our mystic, uh, uh, the author of the book. He says, um, self-transformation is a dimensional shift in the way you perceive and experience life. Next, it is life. That is the ultimate intelligence. Life here meaning uh, life, life itself. The, the real existential experience. That is the ultimate intelligence without your contribution, without your perception, without the distortion. If you look at life itself, it is the ultimate intelligence. Next is, unless we do the right things, the right things will not happen to us. So there is always a right thing to do something to have the desired result. And unless we do the right thing, we will not get the good or the desired results. Your body is just an accumulation of food. Fortunately, we tend to identify our body as ourselves, but it's merely an accumulation of food. Same with the mind. Your mind is just an accumulation of impressions gathered through the five senses. So these are just your perceptions. Unfortunately, we tend to uh, um, identify ourselves too much with our mind, our thinking. And uh, sometimes uh, it takes us away from living real life. To mold situations the way you want them, you must first know who you are. So... That's the first step. Know who you are if you want to be happy in life. So you're not the body, you're not the mind. Know who you are. You are the master of your own destiny. Know that the life that you have right now, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether you're joyful, whether you're miserable, is your own making. Please stop blaming others. It's your life. You you created your life uh, fully. So knowing that, however you want to create it, you can do it. Reactivity is enslavement. Responsibility is freedom. Responsibility in the sense that you have the ability to respond. 
If you simply react to a situation without being conscious, then that is enslavement. Next is, the science of yoga is the science of being in perfect alignment, in absolute harmony, and in complete sync with existence. I have to admit, yoga is not yet something I'm very much um, knowledgeable, still starting to learn it. But uh, basically, it's the goal. If after you've tried everything in life, if you haven't tried yoga, then that's the, the message here in the book. For in yoga means uh, literally union. Next is the, the journey from the boundary-based individual body to the boundless source of creation. This is the very basis of the spiritual process. Spiritual process, not simply a religious process. So this boundless source of creation, the creator, God, the divine. We always come back, goes back to the to that source of creation. The way you eat not only decides your physical health, but the very way you think, feel, and experience life. I share this because it's very practical. If you feel good right now, you must be eating the right food. If you don't feel good right now, check what you're eating. Check what, 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 what you put in your body, what you eat, what you drink, what you take. And probably you have to change it, improve it, or even remove it for you, for you to, to um, think, feel, and experience life the way you want it to be, or at least good. Next is, your body is just alone from this planet. Remember your body, your existence. We came from the earth, we came from dust, and we come back same way. There is space between you and what you have gathered, meaning the food and the um, impressions, in terms of body and mind. Becoming conscious of this space is your first and only step to freedom. Stop. If you are able to stop identifying yourself with the accumulation of the food and the impressions, realizing that it is simply your possessions, then you will feel, you will have freedom. Discern the real from the illusory what is existentially true from what is psychological true. Existential, what is real in life, it doesn't equate to what is psychological. Psychological is just uh, in your head. Existential is the reality. But fundamentally, what you call myself is just a certain amount of energy. Even I believe that even science explains this. If we look at um, even, I, I may be solid right now, solid. But if we look at any other, any other matter, for that matter, on a subatomic level, we're made up of wa waves, we're made up of energy. So we are just a manifestation of a certain amount of energy, certain form of energy. So we are what we are. We're simply energy. Yeah, it's not simple. It's a, it's a big thing. The bitterness or sweetness of any experience is not in the event itself, but in how you perceive and respond to it. Uh, so any situation, you create, you make it a good or a bad experience, it's your choice. The more profound your understanding of the human mechanism, the more magical your life will be. So if you want more magic in your life, know who you are. Know your humanity, your true humanity. But once joy is your constant companion, you are no more an issue in your life. So no more issues, no more concerns, no more problems if you have joy in your life. So lucky for those who are friends with joy, right? <laughs>
And the last one, it is only by turning inward that we can truly create a world of love, light, and laughter. So any questions you have in life, any questions about yourself, you will find the answers. The way is to turn inward. Okay, that's it. That's all the, the, the lines, the quotes that I have shared in my on the event. And yes, um, inner engineering has, uh, as I mentioned earlier, has been a big part of my happiness breakthrough program. So um, if I have to, I would like to share with you uh, the, 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 the very, what is happiness breakthrough? It, it has a, the, the first part for the mindset. It has five parts. And I base it actually here. <laughs> so the first one is self-knowledge. So my mantra here is, I am not the body, I'm not the mind. Next is creativity. My life is 100% 100% self-created. Acceptance. This moment is inevitable. Responsibility or our ability to respond. I'm responsible for everything. And the last one is self-giving. I'm a mother to the world. So these five mantras that I have learned from uh, Inner Engineering uh, Online, I have I've always, um, I state it every morning on a regular basis as it reminds me of how to live a joyful life. And if you have your own affirmations, your own mantras, better, um, it's best that uh, you state it on a regular basis. You'll be reminded of who you are, what you want to become, what you want to be, what you can do to, because of all the distractions, distortions that can, uh, that is in the external. So that's it for Inner Engineering by Sadhguru. Uh, check out my YouTube uh, channel for, for the audiobook. And for the next book that I would be reading is from this book also, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. So watch out for my reading, <laughs> the reading of this, uh, The Seven Habits as it uh, I also made it as a part of my of the program. So watch out for that on my YouTube channel if that interests you. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for, so much for listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. And um, do follow me on my social media account. And I hope to see you next time on Happiness Talk, The 7 Happiness. Thank you.